Hello my dear friends, this is Tarun Kumar Das, working in Kendra Vidyalaya Koraput. Welcome to all of you for today's English class. And today's topic is crying. It comes under class 5 English. And in this chapter, we are going to recite this poem as well as we are going to find out the new words and the meanings as well as the question answers we are going to solve. So I would like to request all of you, please watch this video up to the end and find your solutions. Before going to the lesson, let us find out the objectives. The objectives are number one, recite this poem with proper stretch and pronunciation, learn new words and meanings, understand different emotions and the value of cry. So, my dear friends, let's learn the poem Cry. He is the poet of the poem Crying and he is an American poet and the name of this poet is Galway Kinnell and he was born in 1st February 1927 in the United States of America and died in 28, on 28 October 2014. Dear friends, we show different emotions at different situations. Sometimes we become very happy and sometimes we become very angry. Sometimes we feel jealous and sometimes we feel sad and what to do after that? We start crying. Let's see when we get different emotions and different emotions in these situations. Here you can see here this is a boy name is Rahul. Rahul got a bicycle and when he got a bicycle he is very he became very happy. But in this situation you get here, he is Naveen and Naveen, some, one of his friends scolded Naveen and so he was very angry at that time. Here is Suman and Suman got marked in the examination and Suman's friend Rani also got marked in the examination. But unfortunately, Rani stood first in the examination but Suman could not. So what happened? Suman became very jealous when Rani stood first in the examination. Next to this is Sonia and Sonia's birthday was on that day and Sonia didn't Sorry, get the a object. new dress on her birthday. So what happened with Sonia? Sonia became very upset, very sad. Edge, you are also being sad in your, on your birthday when you are not getting your proper dresses or your uh, uh, gift items or the things not to be done completely. So here Sonia got very sad and started crying. Friends, the poem crying is also based upon our emotions. So let's recite and understand the poem. Here is the poem crying and you can see here the picture. This boy is crying a lot. So let's recite this poem. Let me recite first. You please listen carefully how I am going to pronounce the words and how I am going to recite this poem. After that, I will make you understand what the poem actually wants to tell us. Crying only a little bit is no use. You must cry until your pillow is soaked. Then you can jump in the shower and splash, splash, splash. So my dear friends, in this stanza, the poet wants to tell us that here you can find out the words like soaked. Soaked means completely wet. And the word here shower. Shower means something in the bathroom you can find out where water is getting sprinkled or sprayed on you when you are taking bath. And the word is here splash. Splash means actually it is a sound being created when something falls in the water or you are beating the water in joy or happiness. At that time, the water sprays around you, it drops around you by creating a sound and that sound is called as here splash. So, here the poet wants to tell you, crying only a little bit is no use. That means, if my dear friends, 
if you are crying, if you are upset, I know you are upset. But if you are crying, so what happens? Sometimes you cry very little and sometimes you cry very often and you cry a lot. But if you are crying a, very, a little, then there is no use of that one because the sorrow, what is with you? The sad situation, the sad moments, what, what are with you? They will not go. They will be with you forever and for a long time. So if you want to feel comfortable, if you want to feel happy, then you must cry a lot. You should not cry little. You should cry a lot. You must cry until your pillow is soaked. That means you can cry whenever. Sometimes we are crying by covering our face through the pillow. So at that time, what happens? If you are, if you want to cry, the poets want to tell you. If you want to cry, then you can cry a lot by covering your face in the pillow, so that with the tears, the pillow will become totally wet. This way, the pillow will be soaked with your tears. After crying, what you will do? After crying, you will jump in the shower. You will jump in the shower means you have to go for taking a bath in the shower. And what you will do? You will start beating the water in the shower while taking bath. And you will create a sound. Splash, splash, splash. That means it will show the happiness what is with you after the crying. Then you can throw open your window and ha 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 and if people say hey what's going on up there ha ha sing back happiness was hiding in the last year I wept it ha ha so here the poet wants to tell you then you can throw open your window after taking the bath you can open your window and see outside in happiness when the people they will see you they will ask you hey boy hey girl what is happening why are you so happy at that time you can say ha ha by smiling by laughing louder and you can say that my happiness was behind the last year it was hiding and when i cried a lot and when my last year went away, the same time my happiness came outside. Now I am very happy. So here my dear friends, wept. Wept is a word you can see. It comes from the word weep. W-E-E-P. Weep. Wept and wept. I wept. I cried a lot. And now I became very happy. What is the summary of this poem? The summary of this poem tells you that in this short poem, the poet comments on the healing effects of crying. Healing means curing. Show effects of crying. He states that crying a little bit will not give you happiness. You must cry your heart out. After crying your heart out, you will achieve happiness. The sorrows will be washed away with the tears and it will bring you to the world of happiness. So my dear friends, here are the words. First word is your soaked. S-O-A-K-E-D and it is pronounced as soaked and it means completely wet. And you can see the picture here. And but girl is getting wet the clothes and the same girl after getting wet the same girl is taking the wet clothes and she is drying in the sun. Shalu is drying the soaked clothes. This can be used in a sentence like this. You can frame some more sentences also. S H O W E R is shower and its meaning is bath in which water is sprayed from air and most of the bathrooms are having showers. 
you can see here a child, a boy is taking bath in the shower in the bathroom. And it can be used in a sentence like this. Rahul is using the shower for taking bath. W E P T it, it is pronounced wept and it means shed tears or cry. Here you can see the child is crying a lot. And this can be used in a sentence Suraj wept a lot for his missing toy. S P L A S H it is splash and it means the sound made by beating water. You can see here the child is creating the splash sound by beating the water and the water droplets are falling here and there. I hear a splash while Neeraj was taking a bath. Now, my dear friends, answer the following questions. Question number one, according to the poet, should you cry a little or should you cry a lot? And the answer is, according to the poet, we should cry a lot. What can you do after crying a lot? According to the poet, after crying a lot, we should have a bath with a great splash. Read the first two lines of the poem. Is the mood happy, sad, angry, jealous, upset? And what are the first two lines? The first two lines are, let me remind you, crying only a little bit is no use. You must cry until your pillow is soaked. So here, the mood was totally sad. Read the last few lines. The mood of the poet had changed. What is it now? Very happy, angry, cheerful, sad, jealous. And here, let me remind you the last line. What is going on up there? Ha ha, sing back. Happiness was hiding in the last year. I wept it. Ha ha. So in this case, the mood is cheerful now. Answer these sentences right or wrong. The poet says, you must not cry much. It's wrong. The poet actually says, we should cry a lot. The poet says that you should cry till your pillow is soaked. Obviously, when you will cry a lot, your pillow will be soaked. So it is correct. The poet says that after crying, you should open the window and laugh so that people will see that you are happy. Exactly. The poet tells like this and this sentence is correct. The poet says that you should open the window and show people that you are crying. Never. The poet has never told us like this in this poem. So it is wrong. Where do you cry? What are the things that make you cry? I cry at a lonely place. And what are the things that make you cry? When I'm scared, that means I am frightened or I am afraid of. When someone scolds me, I do not get my things done properly. I am hurt in pain, then I cry. Can you cry when you are happy? No, my dear friends, I never cry when I am happy. But sometimes what happens? When we become very happy at that time, automatically, some tears automatically roll down and the tears are called as the tears of joy. So, I am happy. Uh, I never cry when I am happy, but sometimes happiness brings tears of joy. 
which are the things that make you happy? When I get a gift, festivals come, my friends visit my house, someone praises me, I feel very happy. In what ways do you show your happiness? I show my happiness sometimes by shouting, by jumping, by hugging, and by laughing, etc. I've shown my happiness like this. So my dear friends, if you like this video, please subscribe this channel Tarun Kumar Dash and you can like the video and you can share with your friends and other relatives so that everybody can listen and learn. And for other educational content, you can follow me at https tarunkumardash.blogspot.com. The verses, the quizzes, everything is totally free for you thank you for watching i will come back with a new video for you till then bye bye thank you